Hey guys, welcome back to the gaming channel and a very happy new year to all of you watching. It's the year 2020 and this year is gonna be a very big year because you know why? Because I said so and today we're gonna kick off the new year with a brand new mobile game that is very close to me because as a kid, I grew up playing Ragnarok online. And today, what we have here is Ragnarok Tactics. So for those of you who are not familiar with what Ragnarok Online is or RO, it's actually an MMORPG and I played this game growing up in secondary school in Jakarta and that's when I picked up most of the bad Indonesian words, alright? So me and my friends would go to a warnet or a warong internet or an internet cafe so to say and we would play RO and we would spend like a good six to eight hours there on the weekends to play and that's how my love for the whole Ragnarok universe came into play. But we're not here to talk about RO. Today, we're going to be talking about Ragnarok Tactics. So for those of you who don't know, Ragnarok Tactics is actually an idle strategy mobile game. And for those of you who actually follow Not Good Gamers on Instagram, I actually ask you guys to pre-register right here uh, to join me in the game when it launches, which is Today, it's out already. So for those of you who want to download the game, links will be in the description below. It's available both on the App Store and on the Play Store. So do join me. And those of you who actually pre-registered for the game, thank you so much. Enjoy the bonuses to start up the game. And for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, let's just dive right into the game. All right, guys. So this is the intro trailer for the game, all right? Well, actually, I've seen this before, but I'm here to show you guys, all right? So yeah, um, there's a very familiar character that appears here. It's a big, a bad goat. It's Baphomet himself, guys. So this is how you actually play the game, all right? You have to set up uh, your, your team of five, and you actually have to place them correctly. And um, yeah, we, we, we'll, I'll explain more as we carry on, all right? So we just drag this over here, that's right. Choose your AOE, and go blank. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. He's not phased at all, and he's gonna kill us with one kill. Bang! And that's about it, guys. <laughs> all right. So that's a little intro about how the game actually works. All right, guys. So I'm gonna show you the basic introduction about how this game works, so you get a better understanding of the game. And then later on, I'll show you my team, which I've actually worked hard for. You know, because I got an early access, I actually grinded my way up. So yeah, I'll show you my team later on, but for now, we'll go to the basics, all right? So for you to build a team, you gotta go to the hatch lab, all right? So that's where you hatch your monsters, all right? All right, pack opening, pack opening. Let's go, let's go, A. What we gonna get, what we gonna get, what we gonna get, probably a pouring. Oh no, Deviruti. So Essence is kind of like your, your side uh, power-ups to increase your stats, your basic stats. And later on, you can actually get into more in the, about the, your partners or your retinue, in a way. Alright, so you, I got Water Shield, I got Fire Beast, I got Zenny, which is a currency. I got uh, Monster Spirit, I got, yeah, I got a few rare essences, yeah, I got a few essences. This is the page, when before you go on an adventure, right? Devi Ruchi and Pouring in the background, right? They are actually like having an auto battle in the background, right? I see all those coins. They go to the top right of the chest, right? So for you to gain actually like, you know, like Zenny and like other stuff, right? Or if they just open up the chest box on your top right. But we, we can't do that right now because it's in the tutorial. So we'll go into a challenge. I'm just letting you know, we'll get more into that later, all right? So there are three factions in the game, all right? Scissors, paper, stone. We all know how that works, right? Scissors beat paper, paper beats rock, rock beats paper. And there's also added black or white. You know what I mean? So technically, there's like five factions in a way. You can actually direct your characters in which way you want to go. Then, of course, scissors uh, go to paper, obviously. And after that, we can start. Let's go, Deviruchi. Attack the back line. Yeah, Hit butt. All right. Are your skills ready yet? Okay, Deviruchi is ready. And you're going to go hit butt into them. Spear thrust. Okay. Uh, pouring skills ready and it's forget me not, all right? Slow them down, the attack speed and movement speed, all right, cool. Easy tutorial, all right guys? All right, see, like I said earlier before the game, so you can claim resources gained by the exploring monster team, all right? So on your top right here, for the past two minutes, this is what I've gotten. 54 Zenny and 28 Monster Spirits. All right guys, so that's the most basic thing you need to know about the game, right? So let's get a little bit more in depth. But before we do that, these are the monsters I have so far, right? I have a Delame, a Dalimi, a Delimi. Right, I got a Chose, 
All right, I got the Owl Baron right here. That's right, Owl Baron. Yep, I've got Bartley, the guy who appeared in the trailer, right? Then we got Master Ring, right? And we got Griffon, we got One Ring Man, we got Dead Rochi, we've got Sohi, we got another Owl Baron. Yeah, yeah, basically, I, I, I just spammed the monster hatching. Then after that, you got this retinue, all right? What retinue is, they're like your. Instead of just one you going into the battle, right? There's like two other minions to like help you with your support, you know what I mean? Alright? And you can use like essence to level them up, alright? They play there's a lot of elemental play. Alright, so now that you've looked at my monsters, right? So this is what I'm I'm gonna show you, right? Even when you don't play, right? The game runs for you like offline and look at that. After 12 hours, right? Let's just say you will fall asleep. And after 12 hours, you still get a lot of rewards. Look at that. After 12 hours. This is how much items you can get. Ah, yikes. Ooh, level 19. Just nice, alright? Level 19. Because once you're at level 19, right? Um, oh, I unlocked the new play area, alright? So technically, Arena is um, you playing against other players online. But obviously, um, level 5, <laughs> I feel I can just go one-on-one. -on -one. So this is a weird tactic, alright? But for the sake of showing you guys, because I mean, look at it. I'm level 40. These guys are like level 5, right? Okay. This is how I'm gonna set them up. You can't actually choose the path in Arena, okay? But I think I can just put up, I could have just put like one character in and let them fight. Alright, let's just see how it does, right? You know what? You know who's my favorite character in my lineup? Owl. Because you know why? He's a ranged character and he can go everywhere very far. At, very far and look at that, the amount of damage. Few thousand, four thousand, three thousand, not too bad. First arena game in the bag. Plain and simple. Alright, so that's a bit about arena, okay? But now, <laughs> like I was wanted to tell you guys previously, level 19, you get to unlock boost. Alright, so level boost means you get to um you gain two hours of adventure rewards, okay? So let's just try this. Um free boost. Dang. Now this is one thing to take note as you go further and further into the game, alright? There are certain builds. So you go to your homepage, right? You go to Resonance, okay? So these are the factions, all right? And they are, and they are boosts, all right? Faction boosts. Element Aura, for now, if you're just starting out, it's not important. What's, what's important is your faction boost, okay? So as of right now, I have one in each faction in my lineup. Scissors, Paper, Stone, Black and White, okay? So this is my default lineup, or so to say, my Monster Hunters when, when I'm offline, okay? So that's why I unlocked one faction boost. Now there are like two other faction boosts which I haven't really unlocked. Uh, three scissors or three stones or three papers. Uh, three blacks and two whites. Right? So there's a lot of different faction boosts that you can choose from. Okay, let's go to one more adventure and let me just show you how I play. All right? My melee characters are Bartley and Atros. All right? Let me just put them in front. So this is how you basically do it. Okay, your melee's in front, your range at the back, right? Obviously, Atros is at a disadvantage because they're all um, stones, right? And what I want to do is for him to go to the back line. So what I do is I put him here. I put uh, Bartley here and my ranged... Uh, you can't really beat them, but... Alright. One, two, three. Okay. So I need to get everyone to distract. I need everyone distracted, okay? Actually, no. Baron will stay back a bit. Right. So these guys right here. One, two, three. All right, I'm going to try to get everyone gathered in one location and then I'm going to get Baron, the Owl Baron, to drop a massive AOE on them, right? So let's just try and see. Oh, I never said path for the choice. Okay, never mind, let's see. Oh, he got intercepted, all right. So let's get everyone gathered here first. Okay, see that? You see that? Once Owl Baron skill is unlocked, look at this, look at this AOE, man. Look at this AOE. Bang! 17k damage. Almost an instant kill to all the enemies right there. And then, you know... No, anyone left? Nope, no one left. Oh, it's right there. Lol. <laughs> we see the skill point, but it doesn't matter. So that's how much damage, right? Look at that. Owl Baron with 15k total damage. My tip is for you guys is that um, find a very strong ranged hero with a very strong AoE effect and get all your melee characters to just g to gather everyone in one spot and just bang. You know, just boo. All right, guys. So I'm going to show you another feature in this game. All right. So we're going to go to challenge. We're going to go to Geffen Tower. All right. And this unlocks only when you're at level 14 and above. All right. So see, there are a lot of challenges for you to unlock. Uh, we got cats training. 
We got Dojo Challenge, we got God B Strike. So for right now, all I have is just Geffen Tower. Uh, let me just show you how it works. Okay, I've done a few challenges already. So these are the rewards. You get high amount of Zenny, you get fruits as well, and you get, um, what was this called? You get a golden pouring, yeah. Retinues are not available in, in here, right? Win in 60 seconds. Okay, let's let Bartley go forward alone. Right smack middle. Let um, him go around there. Wait, man, go here. Go here. Let our Baron go to the side. So that, you know, I, li I like to save my owl Baron for later parts in the fight. Alright, let's see. Alright, formation 4 1. Yep. Everyone's gathered in one spot. One hit KO, everyone. Let's go. One hit KO. Oh, close enough. Alright. But hey, my, my Atros is actually quite strong too. He has very devastating close range damage. That's right. Oh, I still got one my my skull warrior right here, Mr. Uh wait wandering, wavering, wandering man. That's right. Not almost. That's right. Victory. 32k in damage. Yikes. Alright guys, we're gonna go through one more adventure battle, and this time is the boss of this chapter, okay? So let's go right in and let's just play on a few more tactics, okay? That's, that's a fun thing about this game, you know? You can, there's a lot of ways to play. There's a lot of ways to um, explore on how you want to fight. Oh, wow. Dark Lord. That's right. Let's go. Okay. Let's see. Wow. All stone and one scissors. All right. Who's going to win scissors? Uh, rock. Rock is our Baron. Okay, so our Baron, you'll stay back in a bit. Um, my two. Anyway, oh wow. Estris is at a disadvantage though. But he's quite strong. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Who else do I have? Hmm. I wouldn't have any faction boosts right now because I need one of each from each faction. And if I take out our Baron with Wonder Man. I'll be at a disadvantage because our Baron is stronger than Wonder Man. Okay, now, now this actually got me thinking, man. Jeez. <laughs> no, you know what? I, I, I believe in my faction boost, okay? I believe in my faction boost. So, um, our Baron will stay at the back a bit. I'm not sure how this is going to go, but Gambate Kudasai, guys. Let's go. Alright. Okay. Wow, everyone's going for Mr. Atros. Okay. Uh, poor Ring. Let's help out Mr. Wolf. Astros also let's buff him up a bit. Wow, his health went down so fast. Okay, I will, I will, uh, I will. I need your skills. Okay, never mind. Uh, you need, you need to heal, Astros. Treat him. Okay. Oh wow, 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 dude. Heal up, heal up, heal up. You need to heal up. Okay. Woo. Okay, our Baron has his skill, and let's see how much damage he's done. What? It's pop. Let's pop. Oh, dude. That's so little damage. Or did I, or did I miss Owl's attack? I'm not sure, but okay, let's boost up uh, our Astros again. Uh, our Baron, let's go. Let's see. Did I miss? Yeah, I think I missed the first time. Jeez. Pouring has the most damage. I mean, my mastering has the most damage. Wow. Well, actually, I was actually worried for a while, you know. Because, um, so I have two support heroes or two support monsters, which was the Lamb and Bartley. So, um, but one character can heal other people and the other character just heals themselves. So so yeah, that's all from me in this video guys. Do download Ragnarok's Tactics, link will be in the description below. It's available on the Play Store and the iOS Store and I actually had fun playing this game. No cap, alright? I love Ragnarok's universe and to play this game where it's just like a lot full of tactics, full of planning, full of uh, team building. I love these kind of games, you know, because it's really chill, it's a very laid back and chill game. Only it gets stressful when you start losing rounds and that's when you know you need to like grind more, you know, and I love that, I love that feeling. So yeah, uh, links are in the description. Add my, add my name in the game, uh, NGG Dan. We can build a guild, we can join the guild, we can basically form a team up, yeah. Yeah, and uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, Happy New Year. Do remember to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.